Welcome back, friends. You're watching Questing Time. This is episode 17, part two. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Paul Foxcroft. Why am I so close to the camera? So, last session, the players discovered they were in Avernus, the top layer of hell, very much the gateway drug to more hell. They've started to explore their environment a little bit. Uh, in this session, they're going to do that more, but not like a lot more, because it's this group of players. Uh, we picked this up after a short rest that the players had at the end of last session that wound up with quite a lot of bad maths being done for an extended period of time on the stream. All that's cut out because that's the virtue of doing it again with editing. All you need to know is the players have just healed up using their hit dice and a couple of other abilities. Felin's use of disguised self to make himself look like a little demon uh, has ended because it runs for an hour and a short rest takes an hour. Uh, so I think he starts by using a sorcery point to get that spell slot back so he can cast that spell again so that a plan that no one really liked in the first place can happen but more. So that's that's that. That's your lot. You might also notice in this session um, some of the internal dynamics of the group are changing a little bit. Keep an eye out for that. And uh, enjoy this um, part of the episode. We'll see you at the end to have a little chat about it. Bye. Because no, it's a conversation no. Philin would have with the rest of the team, which is like, guys, I know I've spent an hour looking like a de demon while we all basically just had a card game. But <laughs> as we've now got a new opportunity, should I look like something else, like a bear or a bag of socks? It's a good point. I could look like literally anything, guys. So whatever's helpful, I could look like Mr. Ruff here and pretend to be his twin. No, I, 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 I look... think we should go for you looking like a... a... A devil, not a demon. Okay, I'll disguise myself like... <laughs> I... Say it right, Philip. <laughs> Don't test us. <laughs> uh, did, Paul, did you say we'd been playing cards the last hour? For argument's sake, yes. Okay. Uh, Jack, just let uh, you know... At no point has Philip been playing the same card game as anyone else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Goldfish! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm actually, before I forget, and I do want to hear, Brian, what you're going to sass Richard with, mm -hmm. but can everybody make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Oh, um, no. Uh, uh, oh, three. three. <gasps> I got a 20 for that. Five in total. Eight. <laughs> Great. That is awful. Six. Yes. What? Six. <laughs> All right. Great. Brian, eight. just do me a favour. Don't look at the chat window for a second. I'm going to send you through a message, I and I'm going to see your eye. I'm going to. I'm going to see there. I can't. I can't see the chat message though because it's in. Oh, the... in my head, you're looking at the screen that it's on. <laughs> ah. Wait, which Paul? Can you put it in the WhatsApp group? Because then I won't look at that. It's harder not to look at that. Well, just. Uh, uh, um. Just press the turn say, a lot till it's on. Literally, I'm going to basically just spam. I'm going to show this. Make sure the three guys have read it, okay. and then everyone's going to. Okay, I'll tell you when you can look. Has everyone read that? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. No, no, it hasn't come <laughs> through. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want me to WhatsApp? Can you, you Rich? WhatsApp me separately? Yeah, I'll WhatsApp you, Rich. So feel free to let that happen over the next sort of like 15 minutes, and then you get to make more saves later to see if it's permanent. Um, Great. Um, Bryony, I think you can look now because I've just put the word ha 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 ha. Yeah, well, I can see it. Ha 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 ha. Cool. Mm. There you go, Rich. Okay. So have we had our rest now? You have had your rest. All right, guys, let's go get some demon blood. Um, before we go, Halcyon, may I ask a quick question? Yes. Because we're going outside into literally hell. Do yeah. you have anything in this, say, tower that's like healing potions or magic potions or magic items that we could, say, borrow or take to help us come back with the demon blood? Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid everything I did have was looted by the gravy boys. Okay, oh. then. Could I maybe have a little, you know, just a good luck out there, Philin? Uh, yep, sure. Good good luck out there, Philin. That's all I need. Been pleasure being here in the tower. Goodbye, then. And I walk Thanks, Halcyon. You're a lovely crab giant. Um, um, I, I, um, while this uh, conversation's been happening, I've been peering through a uh, kind of crack in the door. 
Um, can I have a perception roll yep. to see if I, if I can spot anything decent? You absolutely can. Yes. I assume as I was walking to the door, you just put a hand on my head to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16. 16. Great. What you can see is, over this sort of blasted landscape, you can see, you remember the Predator's blood? Yeah. Um, you can see this luminous, there's dots of luminous blue um, blood, like trailing back quite a ways. Uh, and you can see, um, hunched over, sniffing it, like following it like a track, is this enormous, probably about where, like 15 foot tall, hulking, um, what do you call it? In fact, maybe I can just show you a picture. Uh, a monster, I guess, is what you'd term it. Um, it's got wide shoulders and, and this very long neck with a sort of vulture's head on the top of it, massive wings, and these really long forearms with massive claws on the front of it. And it's sort of scrabbling through the dirt, rushing from one point to the next, smelling these balls of blood and making its way towards the tower, which weirdly it hasn't just noticed the tower. It's really focusing on the blood, but it's rapidly gaining ground. You reckon it's about 30 seconds to a minute from being at the front door where it's likely to make some interesting conclusions. Um, Paul? Yes? How far away did you say it was? Right now, probably about uh, 100 feet. Um, I'm going to try and hit it with my crossbow. Rad. Um, Miss Claire, just before we go out, by the way, why Mr. Ruff seems to be aiming his crossbow, I've just been thinking, is it okay I disguise myself as you, but with a moustache? Yeah, then we'll look like twins. Exactly, that was my thinking. I love that plan. Then I do Great. that. Okay, Matt, you disguise yourself as a three and a half foot tall version of Claire with a moustache. <laughs> Together, you look like Mario before and after the mushroom. <laughs> um, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Rufus, you um, ready your crossbow? Are you telling the others... No. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm looking out. I'm seeing this thing scurrying around. I'm like, hang on, that doesn't look good. Yeah, it looks real bad. Yeah. You know what it looks like? Imagine that if the Skeksis had wings. Oh, and, yeah. Um, and... oh yeah, yeah. Um. Right. Uh, I've not used my crossbow before. Do I? Am I just rolling a d20 as a like attack roll, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as if you would be using your axe, but you're less good at it. All right, I'm also going to use my inspiration to give me advantage. Fair, because it's slightly out of range, isn't it? Uh, it's. I think it's at the edge of range. I think the long range is ninety. But yeah, we'll we'll have advantage. I'm not going to be fussy about it because it right, would to look up some rules. I don't want to. <laughs> Wish I had a battery to not do that. Um, what's my modifier for the crossbow strength? If it's an attack, no, it's dexterity. It is dex. Oh, all right, not so good, but still all right. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, <coughs> crossbow bolt arcs through the hellish air um, and slams into this thing, uh, just into the side, into its uh, shoulder, uh, and this thing rears back and just screams. This like, and it's like. Um, it's like blades being run down the strings of an electric guitar, this thing's voice. It's awful. Um, can you roll your damage for me, please? Yep. Oh, uh, I don't... Uh, sorry, mate. Uh, I don't actually know what my damage is. I know what it is on the swords and stuff. For a, cross, for a, a crossbow? It's a light, yeah. light, is it a light or a heavy crossbow? A light. Uh, it's 1d8, I think, plus your dex modifier. Seven. Seven. Cool. Uh, this thing... Takes some of that uh, in damage. Give me a moment. Uh, is it? Does it rear back and scream in a way that anybody seeing it happen would know very, very conclusively that this is not over? Are you asking if it's angry or scared? I'm asking that based on its reaction, am I looking at this thing going, oh, fuck, I've just annoyed it rather than actually take it out of the game? Make an insight check. Thank you. Three. <laughs> Seems pretty chill. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, inside, um, we're just trying to, like, Jack... Oh, just you, all hear, 
you all hear this otherworldly screech, and then you hear Ruf, you hear the rough note go, huh. oh no, <laughs> um, as this yeah. thing its wings sort of with a with a satisfying its wings vip out widely and it just jets towards the door. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to run to the door and do dissonant whispers on it. Why? You have no idea what's out there. Hang on. I'm, I'm literally stood in the doorway. Yeah. So, um... I'm, I'm assuming getting... you're not like... Door... I'm assuming you're kind of like, ha 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 Yeah, yeah. I'm sneaky eeky, line it up, you know, and whatever. But at the point it's coming towards us, can I at least ready my battle axe or something? Like, I've... Oh, 100%. If you can if it's swooping towards us, I basically, I, I want to... I'm like batter at the plate, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> as this thing comes in, the next shot. Is sure. What do you? You have about six seconds of time, and I'm going to count that. What would you like to tell the other characters? You have six seconds. I'll um, say no. Or we uh, start counting when you. Okay. Massive fucking scary bird on the inwe. <laughs> <laughs> now can we run to the door? Going to yeah. do different whispers. And we can all have initiative, if you please. Um. Ooh. Twelve. Okay, Matt Richard. Sixteen. Ooh. Rufus. Five. And um, Ronnie. Nineteen. Wow. So, so, so Ruff just has got a five despite <laughs> starting the fight. Yeah. Rufus, don't forget you get initiative. You get advantage on initiative rolls. So roll twice. Keep Since when? Oh. Oh. Since you've got a weapon of warning, or alternatively, for the last two months. Um, okay, 12. 12. Lovely. Uh, great. So, on initiative 20, this thing slams into the door. Uh -oh. um, and uh, so uh, we've established that Rufus and Bryony, you are basically in the doorway for the purposes of this. I'm going to make it roll at disadvantage because you've said the door isn't fully open, but it is very strong. Um, so this thing's beak sort of jets through the doorway uh, and tries to snap at uh, Bryony because you are, I guess, brighter. Uh, your um, armor class, please. 13. 13. That is a resounding hit. Ow. Um, Bryony. Please take, holy shit, no. 15 damage I... um, <clears throat> as this thing oh. tears, like its beak is serrated, so it doesn't bite and rip, it kind of bites onto you and then pulls back uh, and just tears loads of uh, huge chunks of flesh out of your arm, which is now bleeding quite badly. Uh, oh, Rufus, oh. your armor class, please. Thing. Another hit, a pew pew, as it... Um, reaches through the door with its talons, which are huge. And I can't use that die, so I'll use one of these. Will I? No. Yep. Okay. Um, and it rakes you across the... Like, like it's torn some of your armour up. Um, it's give me a big rake across the chest with uh, its talons for 21 damage. Uh, welcome to hell. Can you both make a constitution saving throw, please? As this thing gets you, there's like this billowing. It issues out this sort of like visible stench. Ugh. Um. I didn't roll so well for that one. I got nine. Nine. Okay, Bryony, you also take another oh, two poison damage. And Rufus, you have advantage on this save, Rufus. You are a dwarf. 13. 13? You're fine. Alright. Um, so, um, if you want to see how many hit points people have, just sit, mouse over to the left-hand side of the screen, and it should give you a reasonably updated version of their, char their character's current stats, and if you click on their portraits, you can see their character sheets. Um, next up is Bryony on Initiative 19. Okay, I want to uh, use a dissonant whispers, please, to hopefully scare it away as well as hurt it. We're entirely reasonable. Yeah. Um, it's a good plan. Mm-hmm. You so... can also see, by the way, as this happens, sorry, uh, as this happens, you just see from upstairs where she's been tinkering, um, Halcyon's head just sort of pops down and goes, what 
in the name of and then <laughs> all the screaming occurs. Sorry, this happens to us a lot. <laughs> it's okay, we ain't been dead yet. <laughs> I think I've cast it and then I need to do the thingy, don't I? You do. I love this machine. 16 damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, what is that psych- That is psychic damage, isn't it? Uh, yes, I think so. So let me just see. Wisdom save of 15. Oh, oh I get to make a wisdom save first. Okay. Um, Pierce. It doesn't uh, say. I'm immune to... Oh, no, it takes it takes psychic damage. Um, so uh, it takes the full hit of that. So how much damage was that? 16. 16, okay. And it, the secondary effect, is it free? If it ha- wants to run away from me, go as far as possible. Now, I think it might be immune to... Oh, no, this isn't. Okay, cool. Um, then it, it's... I'm not going to say its eyes widen, because its eyes are basically sort of weird black gemstones growing out of bone. Um, but its demeanour shifts. Um, on its turn, it will turn and flee. Um, but for the time being, it's right next to the doorway. So um, next up is Richard on initiative 16. Can I just respond to uh, Jer Boa in the chat who wrote, does the Rev crap himself? So the answer to that is no, but did he? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It's not like a regular common problem, but it did happen one session a lot. Yeah, (laughs) one session three times. Yeah. Um, Um... so, Paul, what I'd like to do... Um, so, how far away am I from this thing now? Um, you're within a turn of slapping it. Okay, what I want to do... I want to cast uh, the spell Command on it. Okay, on a... cool. Yeah, I may not have read the small print, but I'm still doing it. Command. Right. And I'm going to say, flee. Which I should... I'm going to give you advice on this, because it is literally already doing that. But sure. <laughs> um, That's so literally I, what my spell does. I yep. can't wait for this conversation. <laughs> okay. <all right. laughs> um, so it makes a. Uh, okay, wisdom saving throw. It has also failed that wisdom saving throw. Uh, so on its turn, it will flee. Just, I just really wanted to underline that. Just really wanted <laughs> yes. to or it fled. Great. Done. Um. And next up is Matt. I realise it's going to flee, so I just give it the finger. (laughs) Okay. Um, Rufus? Okay. That's Matt's entire turn, is flipping (laughs) off. Flipping the bird. The bird, bird, yeah. Yeah. Matt, you already have inspiration, otherwise... I would, hey. I would give that to you. I I don't. We yeah uh, can because we said it at the same time because we don't just look the same. We're, we're twins. We think we. the same. We think the same. That's, that's not how it works. Can, uh, Rufus, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Sorry, Claire. Um, I'm gonna jump on this thing and fuck it up. <laughs> Jumping on that's it when it's about to run away. No, but I don't know it's about to run away, do I? <laughs> well, you've heard. You've heard Bryony cast a spell at it, and you've heard Richard in a sort of otherworldly voice go, Flee! Um, a la Gandalf. So you could infer that it is, or you could be like, Weird move, idiots! I'm going to kill the thing! How much RP are we putting in the RPG is the question. <laughs> not not an hour ago, I downed the box of booze that reminded me of booze from all over the world. Then I shot a thing, it ran at me and scratched me like to the point it ripped my armour. The idea that I can hear these two guys through all of that... Mm-hmm. Murmuring, You're raging. Uh, it is, He's uh, not, he isn't raging. Well, I'm not raging yet. I mean, that's the other thing, because I like strategically, I should like hold on to the rage. But, I mean, I would just be going fucking mad. Fair. All right, well, then I'm putting the RP in the RPG. I rage. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I raid. I make. Uh, I'm also choosing a reckless attack. Right. Uh, I will also, in a moment, be using my additional bonus attack as well. Um, so all of those things are going to be happening. Yep. I'm still holding the bird for. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking 
One day we should learn to work together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, we definitely should do that. And I'd like the chat to remember that I went and got chains because I was like, right, well, we've got a plan. We're all going to look like prisoners. We'll wrap <laughs> chains around ourselves. And you've got to <laughs> there. And, uh, anyway, uh, I get advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Uh, ba -ba 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 on my rage. Right. Okay. Right, the first one is a 20, a rough 20. That's a hit. Yeah. Rough 20 is a hit. Um, now, uh, Reckless Attack, that gives me, that was the advantage, lovely. On Strength, during this turn, but Attack Rolls against me have advantage until my next turn, but he's not going to make one because he's running away. Yes. Lovely. Now, income Tactics. damage. Which is a D8 plus three. That's a six. It's uh, it's not a D8. Uh, if you're using your axe, it's D12, isn't it? If you're oh, using great, either, are you using your great axe or your um, axe of warning? Uh, the great axe. D12. Thank you. Oh, boom! Ten. All right. You're adding your strength to that and another two on top of it because you're raging. Fifteen. Lovely stuff. Uh, which you know my extra attack? Yep. Oh, it's not so good. Is sixteen. That's just a hit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, D twelve plus strength. Yes. Twelve damage. Oh, and did you say plus something else as well? Another t just plus two because you're raging. Lovely. Fourteen. And then, uh, even though he ripped my Battle Rager armor, um, I'm still close enough to him within five feet that I'm going to scratch him back. And as I do it, I'm going to go, Hey, the fuck do you like it, you big beaky twat? <laughs> Great. And that is a five damage. Okay. Uh, so that's lovely. All right. Um, and then this thing's turn, and uh, Rufus and Bryony, you both get to make attack of opportunities if you would like. Um, I would like. Uh, this thing just kicks off away from the tower and flies 45 degrees up into the air and away from you guys. Uh, but you both get to take a swing at it before it before it, uh, before it, before it, before it uh, rabbits. Um, lovely. Is it just a straight up attack roll? Yep, a simple attack roll. <laughs> Rough 20. Love it. That's a hit. And Bryony? A one. Cool. That's also a hit, but not what you want to hit. <gasps> Roll your damage, please. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, that's good. 14. Two. 14 damage. Great. And uh, six. That. So you manage to swing as it turns, as it just turns to, to fly away. You manage to jam it, just, just hit it in the back with your axe. And your axe is now caked. There's like just horrible, thick, sort of pus like yellow blood caking your axe. Um, that is that demon blood? Um, give me one second. Uh, come on, make me a team player. Do maths. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and then, Rufus, um, you are stabbed in the back of the head by Claire um, for uh, damage. one point of damage because you, you take half because you are raging. Um, sorry, I was aiming for the bird. Sorry, sorry. And this thing will drop out of initiative as this thing just flaps away uh, into a sort of cinder like a cloud of cinders blown across the landscape. Um, and yeah, there's, there's just puddles of this awful yellow blood on the floor. And on your axe. Halcyon, is this demon blood? Demon blood? Uh, I think so. We scoop. You, is this enough? Bryony, do you say you scoop it into the thing? Yeah. Oh, right. no, Make a constitution saving throw, Bryony. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eleven? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> How do I get injured all the time? Don't worry, this won't injure you. It's all right, oh. we need we need safety safety gates for Mr. Hardcastle, so don't you worry. 
Um, because he falls right. down the stairs right. all, week, all As the time. you, hmm. as you, so basically, you kind of get Ruff's axe and start escaping it into the door. And you are aware of a sort of burning sensation on your hands. Um, and then it's Ruff, sort of your axe burn. But you're you're aware that this stuff is being absorbed into your skin. Uh oh. Uh, then uh, you are hit with an intense pain in your chest, drop to your knees, and the, at this point you're outside of the tower, uh, drop to your knees, and then you, you, your back starts to hurt incredibly badly. Ow, you ow, hear ow. Uh, all the three of you, the other three, you just watch Claire double over, and there's a cracking sound as some of her bones break. Um, and then with... How do I put this? A sound like... Um, a, the sound of bones breaking and meat tearing simultaneously. Oh. Um, enormous bat wings erupt from Claire's back. Um, massive red leathery bat wings. Um, Can I Claire, fly? You now have a flying speed of 30 feet. <laughs> I instantly just do a loop de loop. <laughs> I mean, that was really painful, but I can fly! Yeah. I grab Philan and do another loop to loop. You grabbed me just as I was about to touch it because I was <laughs> oh. Great. In which case, Matt and Bryony, both of you make dexterity saving throws, please. The one, uh. if, you, if Bryony, if you beat Matt, he doesn't, he, you get him before he touches the crack. <laughs> please, please. 19. Great. Oh. Matt? I rolled 16. Um, I haven't, I haven't modified though. <gasps> I my, dexterity is, my dexterity is three, so it's even. In which case, just roll off. Whoever rolls higher on a die. Oh, so deep roll, both of you roll a d20. Whoever rolls higher gets to... Okay. Oh, right. no. On the count of three. On the count of three. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Five. Nineteen! Oh. Oh, cool. So just before Phil in puts this in his mouth, um, <laughs> Claire grabs him. Uh... It was really painful for them, and I'm not sure this will always happen when you eat that stuff or touch that stuff. Got you. Don't drink the river, don't drink the blood. Yeah, I will fly you wherever you want to be flown. Okay, but no liquids whatsoever unless it comes from you or Mr. Ruff or Mr. Harcastle. Yes. Um, I'm starting to seal off the uh, around the blood a little crime scene. <laughs> so no one goes near it. Fair. Um... um, um can I run back into Halcyon? Yes. Right, how the fuck are we going to lift this stuff? It's burning through my axe. No, it's not burning through your axe. Well, something's not right about it. I mean, well, it, no, it's it, demon blood. Right, so... Put it in the jug. What jug? The one the, that... The one in your... Uh, in your well, we're doing with him, he, the dull one. He's holding it. Right, have you got a jug? I'm in the air. No. Oh, I'm talking... <laughs> One of you has a little I left jug it, I, tank I, thing. I had it, and I left it by the thing when I got hurt. Oh, so there it is. by yeah. the blood. Yes. Right. Okay, so uh, I scoop up as much of that blood as oh. there is for the jug and take right. it back to Halcyon and go, right, is that enough? No. Paul? Because you're basically of getting it off the axe, there's like, you, you've, but you've filled this tank maybe like a tenth, if that. Right, okay. So it's got to be a full one of these. Yes, please. Okay. Um, I look at Hardcore very quickly and go, you and I have to find one of these fucking things and kill it pronto and drain it out into this jug. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. Right, well then, what <laughs> the fuck are we standing here for? Move your ass. Um, Paul, whilst we're in the air, perception check? Yeah, perception check yes. for more blood, please. Sure. Ooh. That <clears throat> is a... Yeah, oh, rough 20. Okay. I got oh, a seven. Lovely. Okay, so Matt, yeah, Brian, you are, if anything, too distracted by flight. How excited you are by flight, Matt? You can see a couple of landmarks around the neck of the woods, um, in no particular order. You can see an enormous dark metal tower off into the distance with lightning crackling around it. You can see off into the other the other extreme, a giant dark knife shaped flying ship thing surrounded by a swarm of little things 
which now you think about it might just be very far away. Um, occasional moments, like occasional bursts of flame, uh, turn up in the swarm or on the on the side of this ship or whatever it is. Uh, you can also make out. Um, one second, let me just look at the map. Uh, you can also make out um, there's a huge, uh, there's a, what looks like a volcano in the middle distance, <clears throat> um, and along the river are a series of what you assume, well, a series of towers with sort of horrible spine structures growing out of them. Uh, what you can make out, however, is what appears to be um, a pit full of this liquid. Um, it's on the other side of the river from where you are. So there's basically like a sort of like a gradual decline of the, the ground, the river itself, and then there's like rocky outcrops, and you can see from your position up in the sky, like directly across the river from you, there's um, a pool, bubble, a bubbling pool full of this awful yellowy a demon curd, for want of better terminology. Um, right. So, I, yeah. uh, Miss Claire Landis, but look over there. It looks like there's a big custard. A big custard. You see it? Oh, uh, yeah. Good spotting, Philan. That's what Thank we you. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Tell the others. We'll get over to a big custard. Yeah. And we'll eat some custard. No, no, that last bit. Oh, well, liquid, no, liquid, that, liquid. Yeah. Okay, good. Gotcha. We land. Um, and rush over to those days. Okay, put your chains on. We've spotted some demon blood. We know where it is. Hang on, wait a second. Can you not just fly over there and get it? That's a good point. Okay, <laughs> I grab the thing. <laughs> on your own? <laughs> well, unless anyone wants to come with, I'll take you on the trip. It's. I don't want to be crossing no river full of souls and m memory loss. You can Let's fly. Come Ms. on. Claire. I'm happy to come with you if you want someone to come with you. I wouldn't mind. Ruff, Ruff uh, seems to be in a bit of a rush. Okay. I'm not in a rush. Listen, you we... bastard. We're in hell. We have a way out. It is to get demon blood, and you're doing loot the loots. You're putting up fucking chains around things, and why is nobody doing the thing that actually has to fucking happen? Get Mr. on Ruff, with it. I'm saying this as a friend, Mr. Ruff. I think you might need another drink. <clears throat> Fill in hard. I just prefer it when okay. we do things as a team. So I Halcyon say... does pop her head down from the upstairs. She's like oil and stuff on her face now. She's got like a big wrench in one hand, and like um, I mean, I, I mean, you are in hell. I probably would go as a group. See, let's work together. We had a plan. Let's go. I'll hop over the river when we get closer. I What's shout back up at Halcyon. All right, and you're just going to fucking stay here, are you? In yes, I'm going to repair the magical cocking tower. Would you like to stay here and repair it? Would you, Mr. Ruff? I, I just, <laughs> I spit into my own beard and make make for the door. Ruff, Ruff, look. Not, I am not listening, <laughs> and I am not stopping. <clears throat> Watch out there, Mr. Jack. Sorry, are you making the door to leave or the door to go back inside? No, I'm. I'm wherever this. I, actually, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> dropping off. <laughs> a bit to your left, Mr. Okay. Ruff. A bit to your left. <laughs> Can I fly over and pick him up? Am I strong enough? To pick up who? Ruff. Ruff. Probably not. <laughs> also, he's, he's a difficult one to pick up without hurting yourself. Yeah, okay. It's then right. can we just follow him? <clears throat> but point him in the right direction. Also. Yeah. Okay, so we rush out. All I'm going to do is just turn him slightly towards the, the river of goop. Yeah. And then throw some chains to Jack and say, can you look like a prisoner, please? But I'm, I'm the other side of the law. Not in this realm, you're not. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> So you're you're talking about um, pretending. As he starts, I just go, "Shut up, scum!" <laughs> um, Matt, you're barefoot, aren't you? Uh, no, I've got, I thought I had hooves on my costume. Yeah, he's got hooves on his costume. Oh, you do. Okay, fine. Um, but we come. So as you as you guys hop off of the little bit of cloud, mm -hmm. um, you become aware that what looks like sort of what looked a bit like a pebble beach, 
<clears throat> this grey sand esque thing. As you look at it, it's it's just it's just fingernails. Uh, oh, God. It's millions uh, and millions of fingernails. Oh, oh my is God! Not this is, good. This is pretty disgusting, actually. Oh, um, look at that one. That one's all yellow. Ugh. <laughs> I hand Ruff some chains so he can also look like a prisoner if he's still willing to do the plan. I'm, I haven't stopped walking, so I snatch them off you, wrap them round my neck, uh, like hand you the other end, and I'm like, can we just fucking move? We are moving, Ruff. Faster! I am a prisoner of hell. Watch <laughs> me... Uh, submit to my uh, leaders this demon what devil this devil I'm hello devil. Th this is why you're Actually, bad at you're walking, you're walking through this sort of like um, there's basically like you're walking down this like fingernail hill and there's like just rocky outcropping sticking out and as you walk past one and Richard you're chanting that one of the rocks which just has the face of a person looks down and goes seems legit <laughs> and then just turns back into a pillar um, <laughs> like to roll a one something can happen for it um, and then um, you get to the shores of the sticks um, and sure enough you are looking at crossing a fairly rapidly, a fairly quick flowing river of sort of bright red water um so oh, I, I, I just I'm, remembered all of the mythology around hell, and now I'm mm -hmm. feeling a bit sick. Great. Um, um, how wide is it? Uh, 200, 200 feet ish. Uh, you want to take? Um, look around <clears throat> for any way of crossing. Make a perception check, please. We have someone who can fly. Uh, fly over. Can yeah, we all I, make a perception check? I'm not I, strong enough for. I can only fly me over. Yeah, but like you, you two are both in heavy armor. Um, Matt. Uh, Fourteen. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Matt. As you are, you kind of ranging around. As everyone's losing around, looking at this insurmountable problem. What you can see, Matt, a little further down the shore, is what looks like a might be a little rowboat. Ooh. Oh, yeah. hey up, guys! A little, little bit of a tinker boat down there. What I call them a little tinker boat. Want to go and see if we can hire it? Might be able to hire the tinker boat. You might know, be guys a better are... They're you guys, fun. yeah, you guys up for a little little boat ride? I can fly Finn across, but I can't carry you guys. Right, come on. Well, let's all go as a team. Otherwise, yeah, let's all go. Quiet, scum. <laughs> <laughs> now, now then, um, the party is on the edge of the, the party is on the edge of the river sticks, um, having just seen the power of a boat sticking out from this kind of like awful wiry. Um, uh, scrub like brush. Um, oh, I'll just check the thing. Hang on, I'll get him. I'll set them up with some dialogue, and then I'll check my whispers. Um, and then, um, yes, you can see this boat sticking out of the underbrush. Presumably, presumably, you make your way towards it. Yes. Excellent. We do. Okay. Can we have, see if there's anything wrong with it? Can is I... there someone in the boat? There is not. Um, so it's a. It's it's more like a. How do I put it? It's like a deep Excellent. gondola. Um, thanks for the subs, guys. Lots of subs happening. Um, hmm. How many people are there room for in this boat? Oh, you could probably get about eight in there comfortably. Uh, although there's no, there isn't an oar. There's a um, punting. Like punt. It's a punt. Yes. And there's a slightly raised position at the back of the boat. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so it's got like a little figurehead at the front. It's this dark wood. Um, and yeah, it's just tethered. It's not like on the, it's part on the bank, part in the water, but it's not being swept away by anything. Um, is there anything on the ground that might be buoyant just to t check the current? Uh, yeah, there's like bits of driftwood and like, some of like little, little, Shrubs, but they're all wizened and dried. And I'm going to throw something that looks buoyant in just to check the flow of the the water. I throw another oh, one. Oh shit! In sorry, I just saw an alert come through that somebody who's just donated a shit ton of money to the stream. Sorry, I just caught the end of that because I've got too many windows open. Thank you. Um, 
tell me if that was you and I'll thank you directly. But that was a treat. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just, I literally just saw the end of that just down. I, I'm pointing at my screen like you can see it. Someone in the chat has just said what I wanted to try and do. Poo sticks. Is it poo sticks. Ah, uh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> this is why I'm throwing something in straight after Phil and has to see which of ours gets to the boat first. Okay. Um, while they're doing this, I get in the boat. Re not entirely unreasonable. Um, really is on a mission today. Um, and and in getting in the boat, I pick up the punting stick as well. Does no. Claire? Why don't we let Jack and um, Mr. Hardcastle punt over and then you fly us over, no problem yeah. all being in the boat and getting near that water that you said not to get near. I think that's very wise then also because Russ seems in a bit of a mood and Jack is permanently in a mood. So, Listen, Miss Claire, we ain't got no time for this, so if you could get me over the other side. Huh? Now you're in yeah. a mood. No, I'm just thinking that Mr. Ruff makes a good point and we should get cracking. I, um, I I scream, come on. <laughs> I I hop in the boat. I pick up Pillin and fly him over. I hold tight to squeak who is still with us. <laughs> I turn to Ruff in the boat and say, why do you think she says I'm always in a bad mood? Because she's desperate for there to be one interesting thing about you. I wish you heard that. Okay. I still not heard that. Okay, I, I accept that. <laughs> I, um, I push us off and I'm pumping us across the river. Okay, so who else is in the, just to be super clear, who else is in the boat with you? Me and Hardcore and uh, Claire and Phil are flying above. Mm -hmm. Righto, give me one second. It's fine. While you're taking a second, I'm going to shout up to Claire and and fill in. Keep an eye out in the water. We well, keep an eye out on the water. Speaking, yes. of, speaking of eyes. Eyes. Um, <laughs> Bryony and Richards. Bryony and Matt, would you make perception checks with advantage, please? Yeah. I've been... And... Mm. Ruff, uh, Rufus, sorry, would you make a athletics check, please? 19. 14. Is that with advantage? 19 yeah. on athletics. Okay, I've cool. got plus nothing on perception. So, Ruff, you're having a perfectly easy time pushing the boat across, although what you're aware of is that the, even though, even to the casual observer, you can see that obviously the river is deeper in the middle, the punt is consistent in how deep it goes even at the shallow end it goes in the shallow at the side of the river it goes in way too far and in the middle it doesn't go in far enough but it's hitting something and pushing off right okay um it's a little unnerving but you get used to it really quickly and you're making good progress in fact you're slightly faster than the winged pair um uh, oh, can, I, can i just ask something this is yes. this isn't going to speed the game along in any way whatsoever oh but... great I'd still like to ask the question. Yeah. Um, when Philin threw in the like piece of wood. Yeah. Could you give us like the internal monologue of, of that wood after getting thrown into a river where all its memories are erased? No. Okay. Uh, because what I don't want to do is spoil any effects that would happen to. It's possible one of one or more of you might go into the river. I don't want to spoil that for when it happens. But I do like the idea. Maybe we'll do that as a separate breakout bit in a sort of like if we do like. If we do like a DVD extras episode of the show. <laughs> like, we'll wrap, we, wrap, we wrap up season one if we just do a sort of loose kick around session midweek where we just kind of talk about the highlights. Little, little vignettes. Yeah. Things that you never, never saw. Yeah. All right. Um, cool. Like a director's commentary, but in the aftermath. <laughs> um, what I like about that is the talking about what's going to be in the director's commentary is now in the main bit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, we are avant-garde. <laughs> um, so, um, great. Okay, so uh, Matt and Bryony, what you're able to do is, with those roles and with Rufus's good athletics check, you're able to actually shout guidance to Rufus, to Ruff, sorry, um, to avoid what are a variety of sandbanks or um, just like ominous looking rocky outcroppings that look almost as if they're intended to get in the way of easy travel. Uh, but with a combination of those two roles, you can easily see them from your vantage point, which I won't lie, is a little bit annoying. Um, 
But still, you all make it to the other side of the sticks, memories intact. In fact, hang on for a second, Bryony, would you make a strength check for me, please? Because you are carrying somebody. Yeah. Well, over then. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's just left Elgwyn's comment. Twelve? Twelve? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just. There's a moment where you almost lose grip on Philin. <laughs> and Philin almost falls. And as he does, what happens is you lose grip with one hand. He hangs up with one hand, squeaks, tumbles out of Philin's pouch, and Philin, with his free hand, just catches squeaks. <sighs> Sorry, Philin, that was close. It's all right, I've got squeaks. Squeaks, I ain't never letting go of you. We will die together, me and you, Mr. Squeaks. We will die together. And thank you, Miss Blair. <laughs> um, you're going to die together when you're old. Very old. Uh, Not Squeaks, any is, Squeaks is eager to bundle himself back up inside the costume. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Which Squeaks looks like my Squeaks skin, I imagine. Fucking terrified to be here. Um... So, you make it to the side, and it's way more fingernails over here, but there's like a sort of, uh, what's the word, uh, porous, rocky outcropping. Like, um, it's volcanic rock, but with like sort of red and red th- seams woven through it. Um, you've got a steep climb ahead of you, and I'll roll on a thing. Uh, no one needs to need worry about this, what I'm rolling for. Just chill. Um, I'm going to fly up a little bit to see if I can see anything beyond the steep climb because you're rolling. I will <laughs> sure. take over the, the quote-unquote prisoners and march them after you. Um, And I am loving it. You maggots, you absolute poo-heads, you're going to get eaten by a big, big elephant. A <laughs> devil elephant with teeth in its trunk. Oh, I love that you're being this loud. Um, so, Bridie, you can see there's a sort of... If you get to the top of this mm. hill, what a better terminology, uh, there's a chasm, almost like a crack in the earth, and this rock. And looking into it, you can see, like, there's a drop. Um, and you can see it's hard to... Oh, you've got dark vision, you're fine. You can mm. see in it... Um, uh, hundreds. Of, you remember that thing that Matt had turned into earlier on, that sort of weird monkey-looking thing? You can see countless of these things in the base of this pit. Um, all, like... like You can't make... You, there's too many of them to count. Um, and you can see them like just uh, chewing on bones. Some of them are really wounded. Uh, a lot of them aren't. But it's like this sort of writhing mass of these things, all caked in blood. Um if you had to guess a nest I fly back down to the guys okay guys like, um, you know how there's a lot of demon blood over there there's also a lot of demons a lot of demons I'd be quiet is there any way round Miss Claire well, we still need the blood we just need them not to notice us okay how do we get one of them to come out and not the rest of them I've got an idea. <clears throat> and, um... I should point out before anyone continues, Claire, you can also see the massive pool of demon blood in the middle distance. <laughs> like, that's still... Oh, blood. that's not the blood. No. Oh, this right, is a separate sorry, thing that you couldn't see previously because your angle wasn't good enough. Oh, okay. So there's, uh, there's a bunch of demons in a nest and beyond them is the blood that we need. Is that right, Paul? Yes. Okay, good. I, I don't think I'd made that clear. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, have, have we still got rope. Um, We've always got two of you, a bit of rope. Yeah. Two yeah. Of you. yeah. I'm assuming. Those, I'm assuming everyone's restocked the rope because we know that you guys really like rope. Big yeah. time. Uh, we're, we're a rope. We're a rope. We love team. Right. We disagree on a lot, but rope. Not so right. Much. We all agree. In fact, on. I just reach into my pack and just get a bit of the end of a bit of rope and just hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I look at you like you're doing a magic trick. It mesmerizes me. <laughs> so, um, um, I've got an idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Give me one. Just sorry. I just need one second. Yeah. How far away are we from the boat? So probably at this point, like 120, 150 feet. But like, how far away are we from the nest of demons? 
Uh, probably about the same. I should point out, you're about probably about 100, no, maybe about 200 feet from the nest of demons, but it's 200 feet from the top of it, and it looks like it opens into a cave with other exits. How many, um, how big are the demons? Uh, but are you, are you, you sized. Shit. We can just get to the big custard lake, get the custard from the lake, and not worry about the demons. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try this. <laughs> you want to tell us what you're going to try, Ralph? You'd think I would, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But instead what happens is this. <laughs> <laughs> I grab Philin by, by his lapels on his yeah. costume. And Which I looks like skin. And I say, go and get in that boat. And I'd like to roll intimidation to see if I can do it in such a way that he just listens to me. Okay. Uh, you're going to need disadvantage on that roll. Um, <laughs> oh, no. He can have advantage. He can have it. I'd say the advantage, his disadvantage because he's talking to Phil and is cancelled by the fact he's being actually intimidating. So, uh, Rufus, make an intimidation check. And Matt, I would like you to make a charisma saving throw, please. Okay. <laughs> 21. Yeah, I got eight. Cool. You're like, oh, um, oh yes, Mr. Ruff. Yeah? Hey, guys. So I definitely yeah. get the sense that he's going to do what I say and go and get in the boat. Yep. I'm okay. going to get in that boat, but we're going to have words later, Mr. Ruff. Come on, okay. squeaks. I'm now going to roll a flight of hand check. Okay. To what end? Well, you'll see why. Well, yeah, but as I'm DMing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm I'm going to grab um, Squeaks out of his papoose. <gasps> no way! Would you ever get Squeaks out of my papoose? Okay, this will be at disadvantage because you can't see the papoose because he's covered squeaks. with an illusion. And Squeaks loves me, so he would scream. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you want to get a disadvantage? A disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! What'd you get? 16. Um, Matt, make a... Make a, a straight-up perception check to see if you clock this. I've rolled a 17 without modifier. Ah. Oh. Then, so, Rufus, I'm going to say this. You grab Squeaks, but Phelan is aware of it. Okay. Uh, actually, um, Richard and Bryony, would you also make a perception check, please? So you've already grabbed Squeaks? He's grabbed Squeaks out of your papoose. He's got Squeaks what in his hand. What the fuck are you doing to my Squeaks? I got a natural 20, Paul. Bryony, you are also well aware of this. And Rich? 10. Mm, what sweet landscape. <laughs> <laughs> Hands on your hips, looking at the sun, <laughs> looking, looking around for the sun. <laughs> Ruff, what the hell are you doing? Seriously, we um, are meant to work as a team. Um, I'm not yeah, listening. Um, I'm not I am walking towards the uh, the well. I'm stealthily walking towards the nest of the, but in a way where they can't. I, I'm squeaks, doing... squeaks, noms, noms. Um, I turn around to fill in, and I I raise my great axe. What the hell oh. are you doing? And I say to him, "Get in the fucking boot." That got tense, didn't it? That's hell. It would seem like a few of the player characters are having a bit of a time in hell, which seems completely reasonable. Please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching to the end of the video. That really helps us out. And we will see you next time for part three of episode 17. Bye-bye.